how is this West Ham production different to the World Cup? Oh, the fact it's in a proscenium arch and um, um, it's in it's in the West End. It's bigger, bigger audience, and less intimate. Um, but hopefully, hopefully we'll recapture that intimacy. I think one of the reasons why what made this um, production so special to people who came and saw it was that it is an intimate production, and it um, uh, you felt like you were involved in it. So hopefully we've retained some of that intimacy mm -hmm. in staging it. It's effectively the same play, so we've tried to bring everything that was good about it before into the into a bigger theatre. Yeah. That's been our biggest challenge, yeah. isn't it? It's to translate what people liked about it then to hopefully presenting it to a new, new audience. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's the same play, just to more people. Yeah, yeah and, and and slightly different staging, the fact that we're in the, the sort of, we're not, Front on. Yeah, not being seen from all sides, which um, is sort of a challenge in itself to make sure that we retain the sort of um, what was so special about it, and you don't want to make it just as exciting to watch as well, the mm. choreography and the, the yeah. dance of it, in mm. a way. So yeah, with, the, with like the challenges of a bigger venue, do you find that it affects your performance specifically if you're playing for a much bigger audience? We don't know yet. No, no, no we don't, don't know, know yet. yet. No. We haven't gone into doing the, we haven't gone into the theatre, but right. I, don't know, I, think, I think you want to maybe speak a little bit louder. Uh, I, I don't know, not, the too, not too much, yeah. yeah. I, I think um, those Victorian theatres are so beautifully designed that you can speak quite quietly. The acoustics of them are so amazing that you can speak at the level I'm speaking now yeah. because everyone's in the room's quiet, they'll listen. As long as the intention's right. And yeah. that, uh, we, we had a little play on stage the other, um, the other day and it was, it was quite surprising to me how, how intimate it actually was and how close the audience seemed. So uh, I think it will be really. Yeah. I think so. Lovely. It's it as they go in West End theatres. It's quite a small yeah, intimate theatre, you know. And we've closed off the top layer. Of, we've closed off the upper circle, so we try and remain the intimacy of being upstairs at the Royal Court. But it'll be a different experience for sure. Yeah. But hopefully, people enjoy it as much as they did before. Of course, we guess. Yeah. How closely have you been working with Nick Payne on the transfer? Like, is it same script? It is the same script, yeah. yeah. Same script, yeah. Nick Payne's been in most days and he's very um, involved and hands-on and he's just a lovely bloke to have in the rehearsal room as a human being because he's such an amiable, funny, nice person and he always laughs when we and do scenes. And he really scenes. cares. It's like yeah. he really... Of course he cares. It, it, it's, but it, he cares without being intrusive. Yes. And do you know what I mean? He doesn't assert himself. He, no. He, he's, he's very um, laid back. And he's brilliant. Yeah. He's a brilliant writer. Yeah, and a really nice person too. Yeah. You just want to think, well, if you're writing this now, and he's so, I mean, he's so young, really, for it's just such an incredible play, I think, to have written that the mm. age he is. He'll probably never beat it. <laughs> <laughs> Take a positive view <laughs> of that, yeah. yeah. But he's full of, he's full of such. Of, of himself, you know, he writes of his heart. He does. He does. I like doing it. I did, I've done a, two of his plays, actually, and uh, I, um, I like saying his words. Mm. They fit nicely in my mouth. They do, actually. <laughs> you see? Yeah. yeah. They mm -hmm. do. So what did you, when you first read the script, what did you think of it? Amazing. Yeah, um, um, amazing. I thought it was um, a real thrill and a real achievement um, as a piece of writing. And so, like, uh, what the hell is it as well? <laughs> what the? Yeah, what is this? Yeah. Uh, just you know that those you're not quite sure how it pieces together and what it quite meant, or it's like no other play I've really read before. It mm. might just remind me of Carol Churchill and the yeah. the existential mm. um, structure, the structure of it, and mm. the way it jumps around and then it, it pops into another place entirely. So I uh, yeah, but the 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 dialogue is so sparky. Um, it was yeah, it's fun and it's yeah. fresh and it's realistic and naturalistic and romantic and funny and um, uh, profound as well. I think. Yeah. So what um, do you think? Obviously, it's very different to Nick Payne playing in the West End. So what what are you hoping that the audience are taking away with them when they watch it? Like an overall theme or? Oh. 
All I can ask, go on. Go on. Go on. All I can ask you when I go and see a play is that it makes me laugh and it moves me. Yeah. But yeah. If, if, if any sort of art does that really, then I'm happy. And, and if we can do that, mm. we've been given the play to do that with. And if we can translate that, if we can serve the play as well as possible, hopefully people will do both those things. They'll yeah. The old cliche, laugh and cry. It's true though. And it's a real gift to do that. I mean, if you're honouring the text, it would just sort of hopefully mm. support you through. And mm. and that's, that's really exciting to be with an audience doing that. And, and when you watch a play, I mean, I, like you were saying before about plays do have the possibility of changing your life and you think about them forever. And I know that if I've been really moved or really enjoyed a play and really laughed, I want to buy it, I want to own it. Mm. So you can read it in your own time. And, and think about, it's full of huge um, questions and it makes you think about big, big things. And that's... That's just such a, pow such a powerful it thing is. to see a play that you really connect with. It's yeah. so powerful. It's, Unlike anything else, unlike watching a film or anything, you, when you see something great, it just sort of knocks your block off, really. And, and um, yeah, and the fact that anything could happen. I mean, yeah. it's in your own life that possibility. It's not for us yeah. to say that what we're doing is really great, but <laughs> no, you yeah. know, hopefully people would take something <coughs> nice away from it. Yeah. Mm. But yeah, and so what? Like, what is it that this show has that the rest of the production doesn't have? Ooh. Quantum well, physics. Quantum physics. <laughs> yeah. um, bit of ballroom dancing. Yeah, I uh, think there's a, maybe that's, dance is probably elsewhere in the West End though. I can't really claim that. So dance elsewhere that. in the West End? I think probably. Yeah. Yeah. Not alongside quantum physics. <laughs> no. 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 no, no, you know, it's a new play it, and it's, so it's um, new very writing. current yeah. and um, the fact that uh, ATG keep bringing these plays from subsidised theatres into the West it's End, wonderful, it to yeah. be commended because there is a hunger for serious theatre in the West End. Jerusalem proved that being such a phenomenon. Mm. Um, there's an audience there, yeah. and that audience deserves to be served. Yeah. And everyone wanted to see this play when it was at the Royal Court, but it was too small. So now they get the opportunity. Seeing new writing in the West End is just fantastic. Yeah. And that it brings, perhaps, like you're saying, a new audience and younger audience and or court audience, and there is a real, real need for that. And I agree. The uh, West End should be a place for everything. It should be a place for yeah. the big shows, and it should be a place for plays like this. Yeah. And um, there is a, I, I think people, there is a, people can quickly dismiss theatre as not, as, as not, you know, that movies perhaps will overtake. I don't. I think there are always, always, it's always need, and we always have to see. A play because you mm. get something from it. It's magic. Yeah. You do. You do. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you.